Fishamble came straight in and commissioned me to write a play embargo for the War of Independence. And I was kind of going, wow, really? You think I can do that? And Jim was so funny. He's so gorgeous. He says, I don't think there was anything wrong with you at all. I think he just took a year out to take a rest, you know, because I kind of just jumped straight back into it. But I was writing a play for Landmark as well, The Saviour. And that was supposed to happen, I don't know, the year I was in cancer treatment. And I remember Anne Clark just going, D, I'm going to make this happen whenever you're ready. Take your time. I'm not. At, but she insisted on holding on to it. And the Abbey were the same. I was doing the Unmanageable Sisters for them. And I think I had another play in, 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 in you know, in the mix. And everybody just said, look, we're here. We're not going anywhere. And you come back to it when you can. And my friend Jared out of Mead County Council, we were supposed to do this beautiful um, kind of tribute to Mary Lavin. And I was writing a piece uh, inspired by her work. And that was the first thing I came back to in June 2019. Um, and I remember going away to write it with my husband down to Kilkee and I was still quite sick, you know, and I was going, oh, Jesus, I don't know if I'll be able to do this at all. But I just wrote this piece about a woman who was coming out of cancer who was reassessing and reevaluating her life and making some decisions. It was actually very funny, very darkly funny, because believe it or not, cancer can be hilarious because it's just so stark and dark and, and you know, tough. Uh, and I remember when I wrote it uh, and reading it to Gary and reading it to my daughter, Shifra, and going, is it good? Is it any good? And they were going, sounds good to me, you know? And then I gave it to one or two artistic friends and I was saying am I still able to do it and they were going you're back D you're back with a bang <laughs> you know and, and and just being able to move back into that oh corralled me pulled me up pulled me out and you're burying yourself in other experiences and other emotions and uh, and you're getting swept up in that so so your focus isn't on your own fears and your own quite real anxieties 